What's the square root of 549? Anybody? 23.42. All right. So get to 23.42. Right. Kilowatts. Sir, I got 43, not 42. 43. All right. Are we there? Kayla, Kadin, Kimura, Raya, Tyler, Janisa, Dijani, guy, you you understand so far what is happening? Yes, sir. I need you guys to get involved. All right, it's not a one man show here. Everybody have to try. Listen to me. I've been seeing this, you see? My A would have been what? 12 square. The 12 square, yes. Yeah. And my B would have been F G square, right? Yeah. Okay, so remember that thing we say the C is always the hypotenuse, right? Whatever opposite right Yes, yeah. go ahead, yes. So um, Krista Richard says she's not able um, to join, so I don't know why. Well, who, who? Okay. Krista Richards. Krista Richards. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell her that she just needs to come out and rejoin. So she cannot join at yes, all. Okay. Um. Tell her to text me. I will send her the link so you can you can go straight from the link. Okay, sir. Right. Tell her to text me now. All right. Okay. Um hold on. In summary, we are saying that uh, we use the Pythagoras theorem when we are giving two when we are giving any two sides of the right angle triangle, and we have been asked to find a third side, then use the Pythagoras theorem. What is the formula? The formula is always c square is equal to a square plus b square, right? Now and always remember that uh, the C is always the hypotenuse or the side opposite the right angle. Follow? So always this side is the what? Always this side is the hypotenuse, right? I po te what? Nus. That is your C. Are we clear? Is anybody who is lost? <laughs> Is anybody who is lost as to when we use Pythagoras theorem? All right. The next thing, the next thing we, we learned last week, we learned trigonometric ratio, right? Am I right? Everybody remember the uh, trigonometric ratio we learned last week? Yes, sir. Now, what about the trigonometric ratio? What, what do you remember about the Trigonometric ratio. Find which side is missing and I'll get the side no. you are oh, Okay, let me just ask a question. Was it when do we use trigonometric ratio? Anybody can tell me in their own ways when we use particular ratio? Yes. Oh, sorry, I'm going to say, like, it come back. It's our word now. Okay, good. With the, the new link I gave you, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay. So when when do we use, when do we use, um, 
Pythagor no trigonometry ratio. Right, under which condition we use trigonometry ratio? Under which condition we use trigonometry ratio? Anybody remember from last week? Yes, sir. Yes, under which condition? Can you tell me when do I know that I have to use trigonometry ratio? What's the first condition? What is the first condition we, are, we know that we have to use the trigonometry ratio? Anybody? Right. Anybody can tell me what is the first condition? Okay. Nobody at all. Okay. Well, when I when you look on what I've degree. drawn the diagram, what is it? What the type degree. of triangle is this? What type of triangle do you see here? Can somebody hear me? What type of triangle is this? The right angle. The right angle. Somebody talking, but I can't hear anything. The right angle. Hold on. Uh, wait. Let me check something, wait. My, my volume is high. Can somebody say something to me and see if I can hear you? I don't know why. The red I can't hear anything. You hear no? Christina talking, I can't hear Christina neither. Sir? So if, so if you are giving, if you'll be giving one side and one angle to find another side, so that type we are doing right now. So we'd have gone through here now, right? We are giving, look at it. We are giving one side and what? One angle. And we have been asked to find another side, which is what? B what? Yeah. BQ. So that means we have to use the trig what? Trig ratio. Now, how do I label the side? Anybody remember for the trig ratio, I have to label the side. Yeah. What do we call this side? Opposite. We call this side opposite. opposite, yes. What do we call this side? Yeah. Hypotenuse, yes. What do we call this side? Okay. Last week, I, I, I show you one trick to find out which formula to use, right? By the way, what are the three formulas we need to know here? We, we need to find the so, right? The ka and the what? The toa. Right. So this, this one here is actually what? Sign, sign is got to opposite, right? Over. Opposite over what? Hypotenuse, right? This one here is what? Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Am I right? And this one is what? Tangent. Tangent. Right. Opposite. Over adjacent. Over what? Adjacent. Are we clear? Now, so that's the first thing we have to do. So first of all, we label the size, right? How do we label the size now? The side opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse, right? The side opposite to the angle given, that is your opposite. Whatever remaining is your adjacent. I go one more time. The side opposite to the right angle is your hypotenuse. The side opposite to the angle given would have been your opposite. And whatever left is your what? Adjacent. So in this case here, I show you one trick last week, how to know which formula to use. Anybody remember? There are two it's questions it's you ask. Come again. Please repeat. 
Repeat what you said. So I'm asking you to repeat. No, I was asking, right? Anybody remember the two questions you asked yourself to know which formula to use from last week? Yes, sir. Which side sir. I am giving? What, what, what? Okay, so the first question asks, right? So the first two questions you ask, so if you're not here last week, write it down. The first question you ask, yes, go ahead. The, we side what? We side, I am giving, yes. Okay. Which side I have to find? The other one is so. We side, right? We side, I want to what? I want to find. Right? So let's try and answer these questions here, right? We side, I am given. So look at this information. We said that we're giving here. We are giving the hypotenuse, yes. Everybody see that? How do you know? Because the hypotenuse has the figure. So because the hypotenuse has the figure here, that means that is what you have been given. Now, they asked me to find PQ. And we asked ourselves, which side I want to find? Which side we want to find here? Which side we want to find? The opposite. Opposite, good. So in with this now, which formula am I required to use? Sir, sign. Sign, right. Because you look at you look at this formula, say which one of them have hypotenuse and what? Opposite. I repeat, you look at this information, which has hypotenuse and what? Opposite. That will fall under sign. So it's a sign 30 degrees. It's got to opposite over hypotenuse. Now we say sine 30 degrees. My opposite would have been PQ over hypotenuse, which is 15, right? Then the next thing I will do, the next thing I will do, I'm going to look for sine 30. What is sine 30, please? Anybody, your calculator have to be in degree. Right, who can tell me what is sine 30? So 0.5. 0.5, so there have been 0.5, yes. It's got to PQ over 15. Now, then we put this over one. Then when we put this over one, what do we, what do, we do? Anybody remember? We cross, we cross multiply, right. We cross multiply, so you get 0.5, yes times 15 is called to PQ, right? So multiply 0 0.5 times 15 for me and tell me what you get. 7.5. 7 point what? 7 point what? 5, right? Kilowatt. Meter. All right. Follow. So I need, I need somebody to summarize what we did a while ago for me, from the beginning to the end, what you need to do. Can somebody explain to your fellow students what we did? Anybody want to try? You can do it, man. Anybody want to try? Crystal, you want to try? Casey. Casey. Casey, yeah, they say you should do it. So do it for me now. Okay, explain in your own words what we need to do from the beginning Sorry, to the end. Explain from the beginning. If you are giving a question like this, what you need to do? Explain it to them for me, please. Sir, first I label the size, high person opposite and adjacent. Yes. Then I find which side I was given and the side that I want to find. And sir, I look at the different, the three different ways, sir, and see which um, one fits it perfectly. Yes. I put in the um, numbers that I was given. The number okay, so you substitute, you substitute the yes, values, right? And then, sir, across multiply, and then 
Okay, so you transpose basically, right? You cross yes, by the yes. transpose and get beautiful. As simple as that. Everybody catch that? All right. So let's go. Let's try another one, right? We are going to try another one, right? Can we try another one? Anybody writing? Okay. Anybody writing? Okay, can I move on to the next example? The next one, actually. Yes, sir. All right, so let's look at this one now, right? So supposing we are given this. All right, so let's assume that uh, this side is the right angle here. This side is A, uh -oh. A, B, and C, right? And I give you here, let's say 80 degrees, right? Then I give you here um, 25 kilometers. I say, Calculate, calculate the length of AC. All right. So if you are giving something like this, so basically, what would be the first thing we would have taken on? What the first thing we would do? They're going to label the size. Okay, we label the size. Can you help me label the size, please? Yes, sir. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, yes. What will be the year? Opposite. Opposite. Yes. What will be the year? Adjacent. The adjacent, right? So the best thing, you always look for the hypotenuse followed by the opposite, whatever left is your word, adjacent, all right? Now, then we ask ourselves the two questions, right? We side I'm giving, we side, right? I am giving. Then the next question I ask myself, we side I want to find, right? We side, I want to what? To find. We side I'm giving here. Opposite. So I'm giving the opposite, yes. Which side I want to find? They asked me to find AC. AC would have been which side that? Adjacent. All right. So I want to find what? Adjacent. Now, which are the formulas? So, ka, toa. Which are the formulas as? Toa. Toa. Everybody agree? So, yes, opposite yes. That, so yes. we are going to use tan. So we are going to use tan 80 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Tan 80 degrees. What is my opposite? 25. So 25, yes. Over my adjacent. What is my adjacent? A. A what? AC. A. Good. All right. Now, tell me what is tan 80 degrees? Give it to three decimal places, please. 9.6 over 1. 9.6 over 1. Come again. 5.671. 1. 1.2671. No, sir. 5.671. Oh, 5. Okay. My bad. 5.671, all right. It's got to 25. So you're right, it's one. one not supposed to be there. All right, you know I confused my little brain, no? All right, take your time and tell me, please. One point yes, one. No, about the one point. Uh, that's 5.671. Oh, five. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So it's five, yes. Point. 
5.671. Right. Equals to 25 over what? AC. All right. Then we, what we do, we put this over one, right? Then we cross what? Multiply. So 5.671 times AC is equal to what? 25. Now, when you cross multiply, do we have the answer? Do we have the direct answer? No, sir. No, we, sir. We, okay, we don't have the answer yet, right? So why we don't have the answer yet? Because the guess so now we when you cross my we we'll get to five C seven one times AC. That means I need to make I want I need to make the AC to stand by itself, right? So how do I make the AC to stand by itself? What will I do? Divide by the 5.671. Right. So we move it now, right? We are going to move the 5.71, right? So this is AC now. AC is got to 25, right? Divided by 5.671. All right. So AC, what do we get for AC? 4.4. We get to 4.4. 4.4. 你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。你不要了。
So I intentionally give you that. Everybody see that? So you have to be very, very careful, right? When they turn the triangle anyway, just focus on the what? On the right angle. Once you know where the right angle is, go to the opposite side and that will give you the hypotenuse. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. This one here now, wherever the angle here, there would have been the what? Oppo yes, opposite, right? And the remaining one would be your what? Adjacent. Adjacent. As simple as that. Then we ask ourselves the same question again. Which side I'm giving? Which side I am what? Giving. The next question. We side, I want, hold on. Give me a minute. My, my, this is, the, All right, guys, my, my laptop was almost shouting down on me, so I have to charge it. Okay, so we said I, we said I want to find, right? Can somebody help me answer those questions? We said I am giving. Adjacent. Adjacent. So I'm giving the adjacent, yes. We said I want to find. I'm opposite. I want to find opposite, you sure? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Right. So which one has adjacent and hypotenuse? Cos. Cos, right? So because 50 degrees is got to adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos 50 degrees. My adjacent be eight over hypotenuse, which, which is EG. Then I want to find, I want to find EG. Can somebody tell me what is cost of 50 degrees to three decimal places, please? Zero point. Zero point what? It's working. Zero point six four two is got to eight over EG. Then I put this over one. Then what I do, crosswords, multiply, right? So I get 0 0.642 times EG is got to eight, right? Now I say EG is got to eight divided by 0 0.642. Okay, what do we get now? What is eight divided by 0 0.642? Anybody can tell me, 12, please. 12.46. Come again. 12.46. 12 12.46, right? One. Uh, six one, okay, centimeter. I want to put it to two, de um, two decimal places, so that'd be what? 12.46, right? We cool, everyone? Yes, sir.
All right. So are you ready to look at the angles now? So all what we did right now was just finding the what? Finding the side. Follow? Can we try now how to find the angle now? Yes, sir. OK. Can I, can I move, go to the next slide? Yes, sir. All right. So let's look at this. So, so today, right? So we are good, we're still going to do trigonometry ratios. So what we did a while ago was a recap from last week, right? Trigonometry, right? Ratio, right? Right. So we are doing finding the angle, right? Finding the what? Finding the angle. Right. So this is what we are doing today. We are finding the angle. Follow me, everybody. Now, so let's go now. So when we want to find the angle, we'll be given two sides, right? Okay, so here that being the right angle. Right, let's say that they give me a five centimeter and they give me a 12 centimeter, right? And they say that uh, as you find angle, let's say this one is um, L, M, N, right? Now, they say, they will say that they uh, calculate Calculate angle, angle L N M. Right. They say you calculate angle N, right? We are calculating the angle what? We are calculating angle L, right? N what? M. Follow me through. So normally CX will not put anything like this for you, right? Now, if you are giving something like they will only give you this and say that you should find the what? The angle. Now, rule number one, indicate the angle you have been given, right? Now, where do you think, which angle are they asking me to find? Angle L, N, M. Which angle are they wanting to find? Is it L, M, or N? The N. Now, so when what happened is he say they ask you to find the middle letter, right? The middle what? The middle letter. So always is this one here. This is what they are asking you to find. The middle what? The middle letter is what you are looking for, right? So it have been angle N. So what you do is you say you go to the end and you draw this, you draw something like this, and you put the angle right there. So that is what you are looking for. Now. Then the next thing you are going to do is label the size. So if the angle is, remember that this is the reference angle. That's why it's important you know where to put the angle. This is a reference angle now, right? Now let's label the size now. So the next step we are going to do is so we label the what? The size. What will I call this side? If the angle is, what will I call this side? Hypotenuse, yes. What do I call this side? Opposite. 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 What do I call this side? Adjacent. So here now, we ask ourselves the two, two questions here. One, only one question you ask yourself, which two sides I am giving? Which two sides I am giving? So to find the angle, right? To find the angle, you ask yourself the question, with two sides I am giving. Everybody follow that? To find the angle, right? You ask yourself this question. With two sides I am what? Giving. So can somebody tell me which two sides are we giving here? Opposite. So, so we have been giving what? Opposite and what? 
hypotenuse, right? You are giving opposite and what? Hypotenuse. Then we, the next thing we do here is the same. Which formula are we going to use? We have the so, ka, and what? Toa. So which formula has opposite and hypotenuse? No. So, so yeah, we, yeah, you are going to say that thing, sine theta, so you start from here, right? Sine theta, we don't know, so put theta, or N if you want. Sine theta is got to opposite of hypotenuse, right? Sine theta, So we are going to set the values now, right? So that I've been sine theta would have been, you put a sine theta now. Wherever you have opposite, you put five over 12. Now, can somebody work it out for me? What is five over 12 in decimal? Give it to three decimal places, please. So zero point four one seven. 0 0.417, Seven. all right. So now, when we finish now, right? When we finish now, we are going to say that uh, the angle or the theta, right? Is got to sine inverse. That means sine negative one. If you want for an angle, you always use this formula, sine negative one of 0 0.4. One seven. Now, so it means therefore you have to go to your neural calculator and you are going to press this one here. You are going to look for this. I'm going to write it at the top here, right? Look for the sign shift. If you don't have that, look for the one we say second function, right? So some of you have the shift and some of, have the, some of you have the second function. So for those who have the shift, you press shift sign, then this will come up sign negative one and press 0 0.41 and you get you get the answer anybody want to try so go on your calculator look for shifts first click on the shift or the second function then you press sign then this will come up if you press the sign this will come up then you put in 0 0.417 and tell me what you get 24.65 24 0.65, right? Degrees, right? So you mean that this would be what? So you see, therefore, angle, angle L, N, M, right? Angle L, M, L, N, L, N, M is equal to 24.65 degrees. That's my final answer. Finding the angle is very is easier than finding the side because it's straightforward. Or what the only thing you have to know which formula you are going to use. Then you don't have to know how to use a shift function. Shift function. Is anybody who is here and could not know how to use a shift thing? So you can tell me that I can help you out, or you can private text me. I will tell you what you do. Right. The first thing we do, right? The first first thing we do is we label the side. It's the first thing we indicate the angle first. After indicating the angle, we are looking for angle R. So we come here, we put angle R here, right? The later what? We label the side. If the angle is here, this side is opposite, right? This side is hypotenuse, and this is adjacent. Now, we label the side. What is step three? Oh. What will be step three? What will you do next after yeah. I label the signs? Yeah, look at the signs given and the determinant. Okay, um, so we are going to find which two sides given, right? Which, right? Two what? Two sides I am given. Which two sides I am given? So answer that question for me now. The opposite, the opposite and the what? Adjacent. Okay, step four. What will be step four?
Or okay, so we the step four, we choose the correct ratio, right? Choose the what? The correct what? Correct trig ratio. Am I right? So in this case, would I be what? What is my correct trig ratio? Mm. Tan, mm. right? So it'd be tan, tan theta is got to tan theta is got to opposite over adjacent, right? Then we rock and roll with that. So you're going to say tan theta. What is my opposite? 25. 25, yes. Over adjacent. 20. 20. So it'd be tan theta. No, over 20. Over 20. Thank you. So 25 over 20. All right. Now, can somebody work out what is 25 over 20 for me, please? 31.25. 1.25. Now, then we want to find the what? The angle now, right? So what do I do? Do you remember? Sorry, put tan inverse. Tan inverse, right. So it'd be tan inverse, yes. Tan inverse of 1.25. Right, so what is the angle? Sir, 51.34. 51, right. 51.34 degrees. All right, we say therefore, angle, R, no, sorry, S, right? Angle S, or? S, R, T. S, R, T is got to us. What was it again? 51. 50, 51. 51.3 what? Degrees. Degrees. We clear? Any question? Any question? All right. So we, we've gone through those steps, right? OK, so I'm going to show you one short PowerPoint then later we will enter into CXC questions now because uh, we have covered all the areas, right? So once we have covered the, all the areas now, we can start looking at the CXC questions step by step. Cool. But let's look at a PowerPoint presentation first before we just do that, right? So what I'm going to do at the end of this class here, whatever we did right now, I will send it to you in terms of, um, I'll put in a PDF and send it to you so everybody can have access to whatever we wrote this evening, all right? All right, so I'm going to stop sharing this. Then I'll go straight into, um, yeah, all right. Okay, so everybody can see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, so look at this one. I'm going to put this one here, right? Then we'll go through there. So using trig ratios, right? So here they said that they calculate angle A, right? So they said that for you to find angle A, the first thing you do is to identify the two sides. Everybody see that? So we are going to identify the two sides. That, that's how I've been what? Where the arrow going? What do we call it? Where the arrow go, went? What, what will you call it? 
Opposite. Opposite. Right. It had been what? Opposite. Because remember that the angle, whatever the angle is, you call it op opposite, we call it opposite, right? Then the other side that be was hypotenuse. Then, then it's not to choose the correct ratio, right? So yeah, the most important you label the two sides given, right? You choose the correct ratio. What would be the correct ratio here? Sine. Sine. All right. So sine and the third, but they say substituting the what? The values, right? Everybody see that? So wherever you have opposite, they'll put 15, and wherever I have hypotenuse, they'll put 21. Clear? Now, they'll divide 15 over by 21. Then they say that you should put it to what? Three decimal what? Places. So when they divide, they get 0 0.714, right? Then the next thing is, if you want to find the angle, they say use the inverse function on your calculator to calculate the angle, right? Then the last one now, you get to 45.6, right? So either you screenshot this, or if you understand that, it's fine, or you write it down. What, what you guys want to do? Write it down, screenshot, or move on. Okay, are you writing it down or I should move on? Sorry. Okay, so I'll give you some two minutes. If you're writing it down the steps, I'll give you two minutes to do that for me. Quickly, let's go everybody. All right. We calculate through this map place now. All right. We use this, use the sign invest function Cos inverse of 0 0.655, yes. Then we get to 49.1 degrees. So the first thing we do is so we identify the size mark, right? We choose the correct ratio. We substitute in the values. We calculate the ratio to three decimal place. Then we use the inverse function on our calculator to find the what? Angle. We cool. Yes, sir. All right. So at this point now, we are going to start looking at CXC paper here, right? Now, um, so let's see now. This is where you work it out. What you did? Sir, I used Pythagoras theorem. OK, so we use Pythagoras from for which one? The left hand is triangle one or triangle two? Triangle one. Okay, triangle one. All right. So this is your triangle one. Triangle one. All right. So what you first of all is you say we use this part here, triangle one. We call this one triangle one to find what the we use Pythagoras theorem, right? So what you what we have to do now? How do you what you will do next? So which one will I put C? The X. The X, right? Then the six, what do I put for the six? A, okay. and B, all right. So you write a formula. There's C square equal A square. C square is equal to A square plus what? B square, B square right. So my, what's my C value here? X square. So A square is equal to, what's my A value? Six square. C square, plus square right, plus what? Eight square. Eight square. So A square. C square give me what? 36. 8 square. 64. So A square. Now, 36 plus 64, what do I get? 100. So X is equal to square root of what? 100. All right. So which you give me what? 10. 10 what? 10 meter. So everybody catch that? All right. 
So I need a gentleman now to help me to find the angle. Which gentleman in the house wants to be the man in the house? Okay, I need a, I need a, a, a male student to help me with this one. How do I find the angle? What do we do? In a meal. Tyler, you want to help me? Josh, I lie. Only two meal I have. Lord Jesus. Okay, I have only two meals. Josh, you want to help me? Or Tyler? Okay, how do you find the angle? Okay. Anybody want to help um, Casey? How do I find an angle, Casey? Yes, sir. Make sure I understand. <laughs> Casey, answer. Casey, not pay me no mind. Sir, Jada, here, no. Jada, you want to help Jada? Sister Jada. Label the size first. We label the size first. Thank you, Sister Jada. So we label the size. So what would I call this side? What 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 would I call this side? Where the twelve is? What do I call it, Jada? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Yes. What do I call this side here? Opposite. Opposite. You wake. What do I call this side here? Adjacent. Now, so we want to find the angle. What would we, so what do we ask ourselves now? If one find an angle, what do we ask ourselves? Yeah, what, time? Yeah, what, what full size am I given? Right, which two sides I am am I okay? So we ask ourselves which two sides I am given, right? Which what two sides, which two sides. I am given. We two sides I'm giving. So we two sides are we giving here? Opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite and what? Hypotenuse. Right. Which from that? So which from am I going to use here? Sign. Sign. Right. So you sign. Yes. So it be sign. Sign theta. We call to opposite over our hypotenuse. Right. Mm -hmm. So sine theta, my opposite would have been, what is my opposite here? Six, yes, over hypotenuse. What's my hypotenuse? Well, 12, yes. Then we cancel, right? This give me half. What is half as a decimal? 0 0.5. 0 0.5, right? So it'd be sine theta is equal to 0 0.5. What do I do next? Mm -hmm. Equal to sine inverse. So shift is equal to sine inverse, right? Of what? 0 0.5. All right. Then what do I do next? Equal to 30. 30 what? 30 degrees. degrees. Yes, man. Me tell you that uno bright. So that is it. Look at how many marks is this? Two marks, two marks for the Pythagoras theorem question. Everybody see that? Then three marks for the world. Trig ratio question. So easy, easy five marks if you know what you are doing. Just remember that uh, the Pythagoras theorem, you use it when you are giving two sides and want to find a third side. For this idea, you are giving two sides. If you are giving two sides and want to find an angle, how about you ask yourself, which two sides I'm giving? You identify those two sides, use the ratio, find the inverse of that whatever function you have been given, and that is it. Are we there? Any question? 
Any question? Okay, can we move on to the next question? Can we try okay. another question? All right, so let's go now. We are going to try this question here. All right, the first, first question here, I want us to try, not this one, this, this one here. Say really? Eh? What happened? What happened, say really? It's okay. difficult. There, what is there? No, you don't even see it. Just you know, you don't even see the question. It's just a query over it, man. True. Sure. This question is very simple. I'm telling you. I need you to write this question down for me, everybody. Right. So we are going to use the view RT, right? To find, we are going to find RT first. So we use the Pythagoras and C square is equal to A square plus B square. So it'd be 14.8 square is equal to my A, 11.2 square plus my B, which is RT square. Follow me through. What is 14.8 square? What is 14.8 square? Anybody can tell me? 19.04. Come again. 19.04. One nine? One nine point zero four. Point zero four. Okay, thank you. What Two is let do a one nine? One nine. Okay. My bad. Two one nine. Okay. Two one nine point zero four. All right, it's got what is eleven point two square? Sorry, one two five. One two five. Yes. One two five. Right. Plus R T what? Plus R T square. Am I right? Now, so what do we do next? I want to find R T. What will I do now? How do I find RT? We subtract, we subtract right? So that'd be 219.04 minus 125.44 is equal to RT squared, right? Let's minus what we get. Ninety-three point six. Ninety-three point six. Flat. It's got to RT square. Okay. Now they'll find the square root of four. Ninety-three point six. It's got to RT. No, can work it out for me. What do you get for? What is ninety-three point six? Zero nine point six seven. 9.67, right? Meter, right? Now, so what is, look at it here now. I want to make a point here and I see if you agree with what I'm, I'm going to say. From, from R to T, from R to T is 9 point what? It's 9, 9.67, right? Now, our aim is to find RS. Now, who can tell me what will you do to find RS? Now, now that we, look, we know that from S to T is 6 meter, but from R to T is 9.6 meter. How do I find RS? I subtract. I subtract, right. So we see everybody see that now. So RS, RS, right, will be equal to RT minus what? S what? ST. What do I go for RT? My RT will going to be 9, 9.67 minus my ST, which is 6 meter. Now, then we work it out. When we work it out, what do we get? Uh, 
3.67. Come again. 3.67. Meter. Oh, they want it to one this map place, right? They want this answer to one. So that be a triple word. So, right, so it will be a triple word. 3.7, right? Meter. Everybody clear? So do you realize that it, it's not that as much as bad as we think? Yes, we can do this. All right? Follow? Uh, All right, we're good now. So, I okay, we finished copying that. Is anybody writing? Yes. Okay, so I'll give you two minutes to do your writing. Now remember no, we can't use we can't use the WST to find the angle because the WST is not a right angle triangle. So that means that we are going to focus on a big triangle to do what? To find the angle. So that is easy, easy one too, right? So we we'll, can we can sketch it like what we did before. Let's sketch it and see exactly how it looks like. So this is it. Right, we are using the big triangle itself, right? Now, so this side was W, this side was R, this side was T, this angle here is what? Theta. This side, we know this side is what? 14.8, this side is 11.2. 
But then we, then we were asked to find RT. What was RT? What do we get for RT? Anybody can tell me. Nine point what? What was the value for R, the R to T? Nine point what? Three seven. Six seven. Six seven. Oh, okay. You low man, I can hardly hear. Now, so basically we have all the three sides. Do you realize that? Now, if you have all the three sides and want to find the angle, right? We have all the three sides and want to find the what? The angle. We have all the three sides and want to find the angle, right? So that means you have a choice to use any formula you want. Somebody can use sine, somebody can use cosine, somebody can use what? Tangent and all of everybody will get similar answers, right? So the question I ask you now, if we label the size, if we label the size, right? It had been opposite, opposite, hypotenuse and what? Adjacent. We ask ourselves, with two sides I'm giving, I'm giving more than two sides. So basically I can use any formula. Which formula you guys want to use? Which formula you guys want to use? Cosine. Cosine. So it's a cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos theta. So my adjacent would have been 9.67 over hypotenuse 14.8. Now cos theta. Now let's divide now. 9.67 divided by 14.8. What do we get? Zero point what? Six five three. Zero point six five three. So theta is got to cost inverse of zero point six five three, right? So theta now let's work it out. What is cost inverse of zero point six five three? Forty nine point two one degrees. Forty nine point two one degrees. They say to two decimal places. So angle, we see that in. We are going to see that angle. Um, sorry, sir, I made a mistake. So what was 49.23. it? Forty nine point two three. Two three. Okay, no problem. All right, two three degrees. We say therefore, angle R. CW is equal to 49.2 degrees. Because remember, they say we should put it to what? One decimal word. Please. We get that? Yes, sir. All right. So copy that. They will do one last question, one simple last question. Then that is it for tonight. All yes. right? Yes. So, um, is it because uh, we got numbers on other, on other sides, so we could use any? Right, because we have all the three sides. So once we, have, once we are giving all the three sides, you can use any formula. But if you're not giving two, three sides and they give you two sides, then you have to use the correct ratio for those two sides. You understand that? Now, remember that thing, because I have three sides, I can find we, somebody can use somebody can use sine. If they use sine, if they use sine theta, they are going to get. If they use sine theta, they are going to get what? Um, eleven point two over fourteen point eight. And somebody use tangent. If the person use tangent, the person will use what? Um, eleven point two over nine point six seven. And basically, when you work it out, you get by the same answer for what? All, the, all, the, all three. Basically, they have been the same thing. But if they, you, don't have, you have only two sides now, that means you are forced to use the correct one. You can't choose any one. That clear? You understand that? 
All right, good. Any other question? Are we there? All right. So the last question for tonight, can I clear the screen? Can I clear? Yes, sir. All right. So this is the last question for tonight. That everybody will jump on your bed, right? Because it, it left with only, um, oh no, for me, people are run left me, no? Me can't believe my people them are run left me. Okay, we are doing this one, then we go. Right? So south of P will be down to this point. What letter will I put over there? They say, shows the journey of we start at the point B, say 15 kilometers to due south of point Q, right? So we are at P, we are going south, we go down, right? So at this point here, what will I put over here? Which letter will I put here? Which letter will come here? Hmm? Which letter? Which letter will oh, we put here? Q. Q, right, we'll put Q here. Now from P to Q, what is the distance? Fifty kilometers. Thank you. Then we continue the journey. They say it then, then a further twenty kilometers due west. Right. Where where is west? Is it left or right from the queue? Where yeah. will be west? Left. Yeah. Right. So to point R. So that means here will be R. Right. So from Q to R, what's the distance? Twenty kilometers. Twenty kilometers. So first of question. Copy, copy the diagram and show the points Q and R. The distance was 20 kilometers and what? 15 kilometers. So that is it, right? So we've done that. That is A. Everybody understand that? Now, when we finish, since you have the three points, this will form what you call a right angle triangle, right? So you, you join this one with this and you form a what? It will form what you call a right angle what? Triangle. Are we clear? Next question. Calculate PR, the shortest distance of the journey when it started. So they, it's, they said that as you calculate the, word, the shortest word, distance PR. What formula will allow me to find PR quickly? What formula will allow me to find PR? We use the Pythagoras word theorem, right? So you are going to use the Pythagoras theorem, right? So for me to use the Pythagoras theorem, this would have been what? Yeah. We name this as C, yes. A and what? B. B. So quickly, C square is equal to a square plus b square, right? So my c would have been pr square. My a would be 20 square. My b would be 15 square. So pr square. Now, what is 20 square? 400. 400, right? Plus 15 square. What is 15 square? 225. 225, all right? They say PR square. We add a two, 400 plus 225. What do we get? 625. 625. All right. So say PR square. What's this? So we find the square root of four. 625. All right. So okay. PR square. What do we get? 25. 25 what? Um, kilometer. Kilometers. All right. So that is it. All right. Then we have one last question, then we go. Calculate the measure of angle PQR, giving your answer to the nearest O number. Which angle they want me to find here? 
P, right? The middle letter, right? So I'll go to the middle letter, P. Where would it be? Yeah, I'll put the angle right here. Now, remember that thing. We've been able to find the third side, which is also 25, right? Supposing, supposing we don't have the PR and want to find the angle, which formula will you use? Supposing we never have the PR, right? And want to find, you want to find the angle, which formula will you use? Let's label the size first, right? So if you label the size, we call this side what? What do we call this side? This side will be opposite, right? I just sent in what? I put in this. Which two sides are we given? Adjacent and opposite. Right. So if you are smart enough in the exams, right? You can use the information you are giving you to find the angle. So you don't have to even work number two to get the answer for the third one. You could have used the previous information you have been given to do the third one. You understand what I'm saying? At least you are sure that that is right. So which two sides, which two sides, right, I am given? It have been what? Adjacent and what? Opposite. So that means I have to use tan. Tan theta is got to opposite over adjacent. Tan theta, my opposite will be 20 over adjacent 15, right? Tan theta, now what is 20 over 15? Sir, 1.22. 1 1.22. Three, three. Three, three. So theta is got to tan inverse of 1.33. Right, what do we get for the answer? Um, 53.12. 53. 53. One, two. One, two. Okay, degrees. So they say to nearest O number. So the nearest owner of my year would have been 50 watts, 53 degrees, all right? Angle Q, P, R will be because of 53 degrees, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done for tonight, right? You guys did excellent job, am I right? Yeah, even though some people gone left me, but it's okay.